Hey Libras, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Libra. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Here we go. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Libras? Love messages, please, for Libras for this week. What do they need to hear and know for this week? Ooh. Okay. Here we, okay. What we got? We have the Wheel of Fortune that just shot out. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. What else? We have the Two of Swords and the Three of Wands. Could be you or your person, Libra. Put the characters where they go. Someone is wondering, should I wait for this? Should I continue to wait? Should I keep my back turned? What should I do? Do I have a future with this person? Should I continue waiting or should I look for something better? Okay, yeah, five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be a bit confused right now. Someone could have a lot of thoughts on their mind with the five of wands. Very conflicted. It could be an emperor energy and Aries for some of you. Take it as it resonates. Some type of Aries energy. Emperor. Someone who uh, may be in this tussle of emotions or of thoughts trying to figure out what to do. How do I take action? You know, should I wait? Should I not? Should I say something? Eight of wands could be a fire sign, uh, a Leo as well, or a Sagittarius. I already mentioned Aries, but someone is trying to figure out what to do. Look at this. Wow. Empress, eight of wands, emperor with the five of wands. Wow. For some of you, uh, the Empress is Taurus Libra energy. So you could be this Empress energy and you could be trying to talk to this person. And this person could be a bit difficult to talk to. This person could always start a fight or cause arguments or your words get misinterpreted by this person is what I'm getting. You see how the Empress has straight wands sending messages or talking and then when you get the emperor, all the wands are confused. All the wands are all over the place. So you may feel like what you're saying to this person goes in one ear and out the other. Or this person may misconstrue what you're saying. They may misunderstand you a lot. Okay, so let's get right into it. Let's see what this is. Will of Fortune. What is this Will of Fortune for Libra? Will of Fortune. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles, okay? We have the Justice, your card, Libra, your energy, okay? And then we have the King of Swords, your energy as well. Some of you, oh, you could be getting ready to move. Some of you may have a move coming in the future, okay? Coming up, I feel like maybe within the next six months, seven months, maybe at the beginning of the new year of 2023. Some of you may be trying to move or... Uh, maybe your lease is up somewhere so you can move. I'm getting that energy kind of like a side note. For others of you, you could be trying to move on from an, an air sign, a fellow air sign. Some of you could be trying to work something out, legal uh, legal things as far as, you know, legally separating from someone or going through like some type of divorce, divorce court. Okay, you're having to talk to a judge, a lawyer you know, a counselor, somebody, okay? And you're trying to set yourself free and be free from this person or the situation. What's this Two of Swords here? What is this Two of Swords for Libras? What is this energy? We have the Three of Swords, yeah. Four of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. A lot of you, if you've been separated from someone, it's been hard, it's been difficult. Um, a lot of you have been in relationships that, you know, you've tried to do the right thing by this person, but I think you're seeing that it's time to move on. Some of you are moving on to someone who has a better offer. It could be a, an earth sign for some of you. Some of you are waiting for things to get better, waiting for a better situation to come about. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Wow. Magician, Gemini's energy. All you have to do is take the leap of faith with the full energy magician. Okay, someone manifesting you, Queen of Wands, finding you very attractive, very, you know, ambitious, sexy, independent, Ten of Cups, someone seeing you as the Ten of Cups. 
I feel like you've been waiting for something better, you guys. A lot of you, you're getting ready to come out of something. You may not see it right now, and you may have gone through a lot of heartache, but let me tell you, Libra, someone is coming in with a solid offer. It could be someone a bit younger than you, okay? What's this three of wands? King of wands. Now we have the king of wands. I just showed you the queen of wands. You could have a fire sign coming in or someone who's very passionate about you, someone who's willing to take action toward you. The lovers, Gemini. Okay, woo. Yes, and the nine of pentacles. Someone finds you very attractive. I can't get over that. Oh my goodness. Even if you may not see yourself like this, this person, someone is coming in. See, a lot of you have dealt with some bullshit with a king of swords person, maybe a person who was very cold, closed off emotionally, someone who couldn't give you the love that you desired. Um, you may have children with this person or you may share a living space with that person when you get the three of pentacles. I feel like there's a, a talking, a discussion about divorce, okay, or separating from someone, breaking up. You decided that you needed to break up with this king of swords person. <clears throat> and this has been difficult. Three of swords with the four of swords, okay? You've needed time to heal with the four of swords from this heartbreak, okay? And it's it's been rough, but Knight of Pentacles, something is coming in. I feel like a lot of you, you have a brand new person coming in, this King of Wands. I'm just making it plain for you guys. With the lovers and the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm not gonna let Libra get away. Libra, Libra is single, Libra is too damn fine for me to let them get away. Yeah. Okay. Show me this King of Wands person. Their intentions. Oh, the full energy. Yeah, someone coming in, wanting to take that leap of faith with you. Okay, could be a Scorpio for some of you. I just saw the tower. Yeah, who is this uh, King of Wands person? Okay, we pulled out two. <laughs> Page of Swords with the the ace of wands Woo! they are curious about you this person is watching you definitely keeping a close eye on you libra big dick energy okay ace of wands this person is sexually drawn to you very sexually attracted to you okay yeah this person is wanting something with you marriage could be a taurus for some of you wanting a long-term relationship wanting stability with you they could feel a, a very uh, spiritual draw toward you as well. Three of Cups, wanting to date you, wanting to have fun. This could even be a wedding happening. For some of you, they see you as their happiness. Leo's energy coming through strong. Could be a Cancer for some of you. They're two major arcanas. You guys, this person wants to move this forward and it could be moving forward very fast into happiness. Could be pregnancy coming as well. So pay attention to that. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is willing to put in the work to be with you. The Moon with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could also be working on their finances right now. Okay, that could be something that they're secretly working on to give you something or a bigger offer. Okay, how is Libra feeling about this new person? This new person coming in, this King of Wands person. Ooh, you manifested them. Okay, Magician. Ooh, okay. Page of Cups. Okay. And the Death card. Some of you manifested a Scorpio. Could be a Cancer Pisces as well. Some of you manifested a Gemini. Pisces coming through strong. Yes, there's a very spiritual connection with you and this person. You may have felt like or you may feel like in the future when, when this person comes into your life. I feel like a lot of you have already met this person. You may feel like the two of you have known each other before. Very comfortable with each other is what I'm getting. You like this person. And it may just be in the beginning stages of talking, getting to know each other, but you really like this person. Yeah, King of Cups. Look at that. You are keeping your feelings hidden. <laughs> Look at this energy. Yes, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Nine of Cups sitting in the middle. You want this person. But it's like, let me not say too much. Let me not give all my secrets away. Let me not, you know, put myself out there like that. And, you know, you don't want to seem desperate. 
So you're only giving this person a little bit of a cup, page of cups, but you like them. You like the Scorpio or you like this Pisces. I already said the other signs that came out. Yeah, it was like Gemini, Taurus, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag coming through strong. You like this person a lot and you feel like you're in love. But you're keeping it very quiet. You're playing your cards right. And you're trying to use your intuition as well. You could be relying on spirit to give you the right guidance when it comes to this person. Because I feel a lot of you, you opened up with this King of Swords person and you got hurt. Some of you were in a, in a third party, Three of Swords. Okay, you got hurt with this past person. Or someone that you're currently separating from or breaking up with. But... I see a new person in your energy, you guys. So you're trying to play your cards right. You're not trying to give too much of yourself away too soon. Tell me a little bit about this person who Libra is dealing with. That King of Wands person. Who is this person? Could be an Aquarius. Uranus rules Aquarius. So it could be an Aquarius for some of you. A very smart person. Could be a Gemini as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Pluto, Scorpio, for some of you, Pluto rules Scorpio. So for some of you, this definitely is a Scorpio coming in. You could have met this person this year. I'm being drawn to that 22 at the top of the card right there. You could have met this person this year. Ooh. This person is very smart, highly analytical, I'm getting. They could have air and water in their chart. This is a very serious type person. This is a person who would love to have their freedom, but also respect the relationship with you at the same time. This is a person who loves to travel. Yeah, you see Jupiter is at the bottom of the deck. This is a very expansive person. Very expansive, could be very into uh, helping others. This is a person who is like a humanitarian, a person who they would stop and, and, you know, help someone on the street. You know, this is a person who is very kind, but very serious, you guys. This is a person who they think about their future and they think about having you in their future. They can also be very quiet, I'm getting. A very quiet person, kind of studious, kind of to themselves. I'm getting that as well. Wow. Wow. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Advice for Libras. Advice. Within the next few weeks. Whoa. Okay. Coming in fast. Romance. Whoa. <laughs> and listen to your intuition. Do we not say that? With that. Okay. With the high priestess. Didn't I say you guys. You're very spiritual right now. You're you're trying to listen to your intuition. You're leaning on spirit a lot right now to see what to do with this new person. While you're putting a past person to rest, you guys, spirit is confirming. Listen to your intuition. Go with your gut. I know a lot of you may be scared. You feel this connection with this person, King and Queen of Cups. This person brings up a lot of emotions in you, but you're trying to temper yourself. You may be saying things like, you know, don't give too much away. Don't say too much. You know, don't jump the gun. You know, don't get too excited. You know, you don't know where this could go yet, but you're feeling so excited. You're about to explode. <laughs> Listen to your intuition because spirit has a brand new opportunity for you with this person. Within the next few weeks, you guys... If you haven't already met this person, I feel like, um, uh, yeah, romance could be coming in within the next few few weeks. But if you've already met this person, this uh, sexy king of wands type person, male or female, I'm feeling like within the next few, few weeks, there could be something with uh, like a romantic getaway. Very specific, like the two of you could get away together and, you know, go off on some type of romantic rendezvous, a romantic trip, or you may, may have a romantic dinner with this person. Very specific energy is what I'm getting. But yeah, there's an opportunity here and that you need to take it. Listen to your intuition. 
the spirit could be nudging you. Go ahead, take this chance with this person because this is a romance, honey. This is a beautiful romance because I see all they want with you is love, marriage, long-term relationship. And I do see you closing out a cycle with a past person. Alrighty, Libras, that is your energy. Take care. Bye.